Today I'm going to teach you how to combine a ton of PDFs into one master PDF. So two things, why would you ever want to do this and where would you ever find the situation that you have to? So why would you want to do this? I have since moved over from a completely paper-based system to a digital only. So I'm putting everything in this iPad, which quite honestly, I have only been using for Netflix and Hulu and watching the Hallmark channel. So I'm trying to make it more functional and I'm trying to have less stuff and I have so many binders. I bought my 16th binder the other day and I'd run out of space and I was like, this is a little silly. Now, when you print out binders, for our PDFs for your binder, you may print out, like let's say you have four different PDFs for one course, because it has four modules. And it's not a big deal, you just print them out and you just kind of three hole punch them and put them, collate them in order. However, when you are using Notability, which is my app, and I'll leave a link to the other tutorial where I showed you how I converted everything, you don't want four different PDFs. You just want one master PDF that you can just page down and page up with inside. So I understand a lot of people when they maybe drip feed content because people are on subscription plans or maybe they just like breaking up the PDFs or sometimes like I do, I'm just not ready yet. And I just don't, I haven't created the PDF yet. So I drip feed out the PDFs. So we're gonna combine all of those so we just have one master. And obviously what happens is when you combine them, the first page, is wrong, right? It's going to say module one, but really it's modules one through 20. So we're going to fix that today as well. So I'm going to flip the screen so you can see what I'm doing and follow along. Now I will say you do need Adobe Creative Cloud in order to follow along. That's the tool that I love. That's the all the tools that we're going to use. I think I would never like push a product onto that I think is dumb. I don't see any reason why you would not want Adobe Creative Cloud and all the suites inside of there, even though I mostly focus on Adobe InDesign, I still use Photoshop and I especially use Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I will leave a link to that below too if you want to sign up. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every day or every week. I I wanna say every day, but because since I've given up Instagram, my other YouTube channel, Facebook, all that other stuff, I do have more time to post more videos. However, I don't wanna make promises I can't keep, so definitely every week. Right now I seem to be on an everyday streak. All right, so what are you going to need for today's lesson? You're gonna need Adobe Photoshop, you're going to need Adobe Acrobat Pro, and if you want to follow along on your iPad, you'll need obviously an iPad, and I'm going to be using the Notability app, so let's go. All right, here's the problem. I'm just gonna show you an example of one course. This is copywriting from cre for creatives from Ashlyn Carter, and keep in mind, I did pay in full for this entire uh, course, so nothing's being drip fed to me. And I went in and I saw over here, here's your workbook, right? Welcome, and it says copywriting for creatives materials, right? So I go here and it says workbook walkthrough, and it is only modules one through three. What happened to the rest of them? Well, two things. One, which is super annoying, you have to take a quiz after each module before it'll let you into the next one. I don't know why. That was like nails on a chalkboard. I was like, why are you doing that? Anyways, uh, then also she's not only spread all of the workbooks out into separate documents, she also has, um, and you could ignore this, it says these are completely digital. I think what she just means is that instead of giving you a PDF, she's given Given you a Google spreadsheet or something else uh, in those lessons. And then in, over here, she's saying she has given you the one-off worksheets. So again, I find that highly irritating because I just want one master document for copywriting for creatives. I don't wanna have to keep track of all of the things. So also click here to access the module X workbooks doesn't work at all. So, I mean, I'm clicking everywhere. I don't even know what that means. So who knows what workbooks are or aren't included inside of here. So then what you have to do is one, you have to go through and you have to go into each lesson and hunt and find whichever, I guess, worksheets may or may not be inside each one, right? So she's like, there might be one-offs. Maybe, I don't know, let me look through. Okay, I'm obviously super annoyed <laughs> at this whole thing. Um, but so you can see over here, a checkpoint quiz. Um, 
And so you have to take this quiz before it will let you go on to the next lesson. So what I did is, I'm sure this is, I positive this is not how it's meant to be. I just went through and I took all of the quizzes for each module without reading any of the lessons and I still pass them. Uh, just so I could just like start going through and like copying and downloading all the PDFs. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So you can follow along if you want, uh, but we're gonna hunt and pack and see, did she have a lesson somewhere before you begin? No. took about eight minutes, 10 minutes. So like a small waste of time. <laughs> but uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Adobe Acrobat Pro so that we can uh, start combining all of these files into one. So I usually open up Creative Cloud. You can open it straight from the app, um, but it doesn't really matter. If the first thing you're going to do is just open up the first document uh, that you downloaded. So uh, depending on where they save them, mine always saves to downloads, I believe, um, on my computer. Yeah. So if I go over here to downloads, so opening all of these one by one will take probably forever. And even here where it says, so let's just check first, modules one through three, it looks like she combined one through three for you and then four and five, she just didn't bother. Um, so let's make sure that none of the pages repeat uh, so that we're not adding the same page over and over again. Um, so copywriting for creatives. So we actually probably don't have to change the cover only because this one is pretty much done for us. I have this other, it's like hidden to the side. It says tools. So you're gonna to click tools and you're gonna say add pages. Um, or you could say combine files. So if I said combine files, uh, you could add your files over here and you can see it automatically goes to my downloads area. You can't add the zip file, but it looks like I can go down to where we started which is that workbook. And then I can go ahead and copy all of these and then we'll come back for those. And I'll say add files and it will add all of these files for me in the order that those were done. So I can go ahead and say combine. And now this is 237 pages. So this is now called binder one. So this one isn't over here. Uh, so I didn't add that. So all we have to do is go back over here to tools and we'll say um, add pages. So organize, we'll do organize pages. And then right up here at the top, I'm gonna highlight this first page and I'm going to say insert from file. And I'm going to find that first file that we had which was modules one through three. I'll select that and it'll ask me where I want it to go. So I want it to go before page one. So it's the very beginning. Um, so now it's gonna add that. So you can see these are all vertical and now it's switched to horizontal. I don't think it's a big deal. Your iPad, as soon as you move it around, unless you have the orientation locked, it should just move for you. Uh, so we're just gonna say, okay, so now we're up to 269 pages. So we are going to go to the very end over here and we're gonna add all of the rest of those pages. So we're gonna insert from file again. And remember I had to stop right here at that zip file. So we're gonna add all of these. So we're gonna select those and it's gonna insert multiple files, but this time we're gonna say after uh, page 269 of 269, or you could say after the last page, both of those work. Uh, so we're gonna say, okay. It's adding all of those files in, in that order that I selected them. And we're done. So now we have 338 pages. So you're gonna go over here to the top, you're gonna to close. Now it might be a big file. So what I would suggest is after you're done, I would do file, reduce file size. I'm still just gonna save it to downloads and I'm just gonna call it uh, the Ashlyn, or the copy writing for creatives um, master PDF. 
and I'm gonna save that. It's saving that file. And then when we go back into our downloads, we can see that it's 97 megabytes. All right, so how do I get it over into my iPad so I can open it in Notability? So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna need to use Google Drive. So we're gonna upload it to Google Drive. So I put everything in my Google Drive into all my PDFs into a folder called Clickbait. <laughs> And I kind of arrange it by whoever sent it. Uh, so all I have to do is drag and drop that PDF over into here. So let me find it, there we go. I'll just drag it. And then here at the bottom, if my face wasn't in the way, you can see it's uploading. And then I'm gonna switch over to my iPad. All right, really easy on your iPad. You're just gonna bring up Notability. That's my favorite tool. You can use whichever one you want. And we're gonna to go to the import button here at the top right. We're gonna select Google Drive because that's where we put it. Obviously you could put it into any of your other storage devices. And then we're going to go to my clickbait folder. We'll go into that Ashlyn Carter folder, uh, which is right here. And we're gonna grab that file, which, what I call it, copywriting for creative. So this is an alphabetical order. There it is. We're gonna grab that. And now when it grabs it, it's gonna ask you where you want to put it. I think I'm in the wrong folder. I'm in the Allie Brown folder. Um, so we're gonna say create new note and we're gonna move it over to the Ashlyn Carter folder and import and say done. And that's all you have to do. So now when we go over to the Ashlyn Carter folder, we can see copywriting for creatives. And now I can toggle through, just like I said, it is portrait over here. And then let's go down to a section where it is landscape. There we go. So now it's landscape. I can just change the orientation and I can still keep paging through. So easy peasy and look at that not only is it going to be super convenient for me to access this anytime it's now 338 pages i saved and tons of i'm sure this would have been crazy amounts of toner because it is all she put tons of pictures inside of here and even so you have to think about too the background of each page is not white so it's like wasting a gargantuan amount of your toner or your ink or whatever you're using to print to make this pretty yellowish background, this like off-white color. Uh, so, you know, again, um, and I'm sure this uses up gobs of ink. So I just think it's gonna help you save a lot of money in 2022. All right, so I promised you that I would show you how to make a cover. So this cover worked out well because it was already uh, designed with a generic cover. It didn't say like modules one through three or something. All right, so we are going to make a new cover. So we're just gonna say new, eight and a half by 11, create. And you can do a couple different things. You could screenshot something you like, so, and then just copy and paste that over here. Or you could just search for images and kind of copy what you like. Or you could do something totally generic that has nothing to do with that course and uh, use that instead. So I'm gonna use the image from that I screenshot from her uh, that first page you saw when we opened up her, her app uh, or her Kajabi page. I don't know why. I think I'm the only person that like doesn't like Kajabi. <laughs> you could just take this image and you could extend it down and just make it big. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we have copywriting for creatives. Um, I don't really need the advertising part. So we're just gonna put a box over that. See, how easy is that? And instead, I'm just gonna write, instead over here, master PDF. And I'm going to use a font that I like even though it probably doesn't match her fonts, but that's okay. And I'm gonna make it super big. We're gonna take this and we're gonna say automate PDF presentation, add open files, save it. And now we're gonna try that again. And we're gonna say new cover dash dot PDF. And we're gonna say save. And now we're gonna go back into um, Adobe Acrobat. We're gonna go back here, we're gonna say insert from file, and now we can pull it because it's a PDF, and we're gonna say, we're gonna see the first page, before the first page, we'll say okay. And now you can see our first page 
is that page that we just created in Photoshop. So I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye.